Heidi ho peoples, I'm going to do one, one last one. So uh, what I did is I mixed up a lot of paint because there's going to be a lot of feathering on this one. But I want it to be on a background that has all this uh, turquoise on it. And for this, I'm going to use a brush. There we go. There we go. Nice big background of turquoise. Now, um, I should have saved some for the uh, for pushing under the, uh, the the paint, but I didn't. So uh, that's it. Gonna do the sides and the corners, make sure the corners are nicely covered. That's that. And maybe we'll just do it with the bamboo stick. We'll see what happens. So smoothing it out. That's a lot of paint. That's way too much. So I'm gonna pour some off. There we go. I'm gonna see what happens. Oops. Yeah, we're gonna make a little mess here. Okay, that's enough. And we're smoothing it out again. That is nice. That is a nice covered background. Now, um, what I'm going to do, I have lost my little cuppy with the little spout. I do not know where I have that little thing. It just disappeared. Usually when things disappear, it's my husband, but uh, we dare not say that because otherwise he'll just say, no, I didn't, I didn't see it. I don't have it. Ooh, there was something that plopped in there. We'll have to see what happens. I think I'm going to pour the whole thing though. We'll see what happens. Whoops. I'm really going to do really big ones. There we go. And I think I found my little plop right there. I'm not sure, but we'll see. There we go. That is kind of nice. And of course we can leave this because of the background. Here we see uh, a lot of uh, white coming through. That's something that I don't really think is that pretty, but we'll have to work with it. And here I see that thing I just don't know what that is. A piece of uh, thick paint. And I'm going to see if I can just add a little bit here. just to make sure that it goes over the corner. There it goes. And then this way. That way it's gonna be even bigger. Those feathery things. There we go. That is really nice. I do miss a little bit down here though. I think I can add some more. Just making sure I get a good mixture. A little bit of dark. And of course the turquoise. And we're going to give it a little swirl so it comes out nice. There it is. 
And we're going to tilt that off. There it goes. Now, what I'd like to do is just a little bit of manipulation because it is pretty, but I want to see what I can do with this. I'm just following uh, what it's doing. As you can see, that's okay. Got to get rid of this little thing here. I'll make that disappear in a bit. Okay, that's all done. That's okay. Got a little one here which we want to pull down. And I'm not going to torch it because there is um, a couple of air bubbles in here. They will uh, burst, of course. They will give a, a few of those little pinholes that we don't like that much, but that's okay. goes with the painting. As you can see up here, those things, those are caused by uh, air bubbles bursting, but that's just the way it goes. Um, you cannot avoid them. But I really like uh, I like it. I like the uh, the motion. I like that it's a little dark up here and up here. And I'm going to add some uh, glitter, but I want to do it very carefully because I have this new color. Oh yeah, people asked about this. Um, I I searched for it online. It is www.cars.ru, so it's from Russia, but yeah, really, you can't find it online. I tried. So what I want to do is put it on a little stick and just put it there where I want it. Because I don't want it to be too obvious, just in these dark bits. And it's funny because th this is the same uh, bottle, but this is much thicker glitter. And I don't know why that is. You know, when you call it extra fine art glitter, it should all be extra fine. That's what I think. And a little up here. Just everywhere where the darker one is. That's it. And then I'll get the other one. Where's my little bottle? Where are you? I have too much going on uh, on my uh, on my table. This is uh, extra fine. I'll put it on here. As you can see, it, this is really fine. That's it. I think that's more than enough. And I'm just checking the corners. Yep, they're done. That one's done. That's okay. So we're going to leave it just as, as is here. I'm going to put this away and I'm going to do a couple of squishes. really small swishy now I had I read through a couple of comments that people said they uh, they can't get that feathering done look at that that is pretty right okay So I'll, I'll, I'll tell you exactly uh, what the, uh, the trick is. Let me just put some paint together. So you don't need that spouty thing that I had. Don't need that at all because uh, this is just uh, 
one of these cups but I cut off the rim you do have to cut off the rim though and I'm gonna add a little bit of orange that's it okay now we hold it like this so we have a really little spouty thing and I'm gonna hold it up close now all you have to do is go up and down up and down up and down up and down that's it see that that's all there is to it And the weather outside is looking really, really grisly. I'll, I'll make a little video after I finish this. So don't go away and I'll show it to you. Now watch. Up and down. Just up and down. That's all you do. Up and down, up and down, up and down. What you do do is you hold the, the paper a little bit tilted. Just a little bit. So now this, and then we pull it apart. We let it move a little. See that? Those are the fingers. Now I'll do one where I, um, I'll have to add a little bit more paint. I will do one and I'm gonna use this. It's just to show you guys. So that's a lot of wasted paint, which we're going to save. I'm going to put that in, and a little bit of that, and we're going to give it a little swirl. Now, if you lay it flat like this and you do the same, you can do that. But then it goes sideways. See, but I'm just doing it up and down, up and down, and about an inch. You can do it a little smaller if you want. And then when you pick it up, now this is a good way to uh, just test it. Test if you can go up and down, up and down. And then when you've done that, I'll just add a little bit more paint. And get the other one, the next one. And I'll show you the difference when you tilt your paper. So now I'm tilting the paper and it's going up and down, up and down, up and down. That's the difference because when you tilt the paper, it, it slowly flows down. So if you're doing this on a canvas, um, you probably should hold the canvas a little bit tilted too. That helps. There it is. Okay guys, this is it for today, for sure. So I'm going to uh, clean this mess up and I have to take pictures of the pendants and put them on Etsy. They'll be up uh, later today. So uh, I hope you like them. And there are, um, the price you see is including shipping so there's no additional costs. So I hope you buy them. that make me very happy. So thanks all for watching and thank you for a perfect pouring weekend and i did it all with my good bathrobe i'm hoping there's no paint oh yes there is well too bad okay guys <laughs> see you later love you all to pieces see you in the next one bye bye